Hi, thanks so much for joining me today. So I just, like literally just got this from the mail. This is going to be the new Chanel blush. So I wanted to show you the packaging that it came in um, with the Duo de Camellia highlighter. We have this gold ribbon and now it's black with gold lettering and it's hard to pick up on the camera but it's actually gold woven into the black so it's kind of like a little bit of a duochrome type ribbon okay and then you have your traditional Chanel box so these ribbons by the way they are they have an adhesive here so you could I'm sure they use the same ribbon for um, their different size boxes so you know you could reuse this so they have this adhesive here but there's a larger one so you know it is something you know just to take note if you wanted to reuse it um, there is another size level on there all right so oh, they actually included a little holiday card this time chanel.com wishes you a happy holiday season and a beautiful new year and it looks like they also have a red ribbon on some of their packages as well Okay, so it comes in the tissue paper, and then we've got the blush and um, a sample bag. So let's see, I think I picked a mascara sample, if I remember correctly. Yes, the Volume de Chanel. Um, so I, I use this one frequently. I know it's like a cult favorite. I like it. It's not my favorite, though. Um, I, ha I honestly, I don't have a favorite mascara at the moment. I kind of just keep testing out some and haven't found one that I absolutely love. And then I got another mascara base as a sample. All right, so one of the things I like about the packaging is it's all tissue paper. So, you know, you can compost it, recycle it. Okay, and then here is the box. So this one is not color coded. Um, you've got the traditional Chanel box, you've got a, a gold bar at the bottom, and then the color I got is Tweed Pink. There are two colors, um, there's a beige color as well. So this is called Le Tissage de Chanel, I'm not sure if I said that correctly, but it's a blush duo tweed effect. So it has the black bag, and then inside, this is its the typical compact with the white Chanel logo. All right, so inside you've got a brush, and then this is the blush, and that is really, really pretty blush. So you can see, I'm sure, can you tell? You get light pink and kind of like a medium pink, and I'm not sure if it's showing up, but there is some gold sparkle kind of woven into it. So let me just see. So here is the blush on my finger, and I was just trying to see if there is like, I think the gold might be a bit of overspray. It's a little hard to tell because of the texture on there, but it doesn't seem to be in the spot that I just rubbed off. So here is the blush. It's really light pink, sparkly. Um, it's a, a really soft, milky pink, which I think will work really well on my skin tone. So let's test it out. And I'm going to use the Designer Pro from Sony G. So I have um, foundation on the Guerlain L'Essentiel in um, 00N. And then I have um, the Tom Ford New Dip Eyeshadow Quad. I'm working on uh, a video with some, some looks. So this is one look from the video. And then I have the Lisa Eldridge Lipstick I have a mix of Velvet, what was it? Velvet Myth and Velvet Decade, the brown. So um, that's what I have on so far. I haven't done anything on my cheeks. And I've been waiting to get my hair cut for months, but you know how it is when you kind of forget to make an appointment and it's close to the holidays. So I've been waiting for like two months. And because um, unfortunately, I just. There are very few times I can go because of childcare issues and stuff. So anyway, um, finally getting that done in a couple days. So, okay, this comes out way too easily. <laughs> so I, I was expecting it to be a little bit uh, firmer um, just because when I swash it, it, it came up easily, but you know, not, didn't seem super soft. 
I did get a little kickback in the pan, but nothing to really be concerned about. I'm just going to tap a little bit of this off um, onto a tissue. I'd rather build it slowly. All right. So that is a nice light pink. Get a little bit more. All right. So with blush, I usually like to pat it on first and I kind of go, I always go upwards. I don't really go downward because I feel like it's, it's easier to mess up and get blush in the wrong space if you use your brush down um, for like makeup artists and people who are more skilled than I am. You know, I see them going down all the time, but when I started learning how to do makeup, I was always told to go up and it's just something that has always stayed with me. You know, even if it is a bit of overspray, it's going to be a while before you get rid of all the sparkle just because there's so many crevices in this particular blush that, um, you know, I think you'll have a bit of sparkle for quite a while. Um, yeah, and it looks like there is a little bit of sparkle embedded into it as well. Just not very, not as much maybe. So I would say overall though, you know, it's a little bit of a shimmery blush, but yeah, so there's a little bit of shimmer in this blush and I don't think it's overspray, but if, I'm not sure if you can see on my finger here. So we've got a little bit, I think the, there's a little bit of gold sparkle and a little bit of a silver sparkle that kind of mixes in very nicely in there. So you get a touch of sparkle there, but when you put it on your cheek, you really don't have too much. It kind of spreads out a bit. All right, so that's it for the blush. And I'm just gonna finish up uh, my look and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back with my final look. And so I added the um, finishing powder. I, I used the Guerlain Meteorites in Golden Land and I added the Duo de Camellia highlighter. And I've taken to kind of just running a brush right down the center between the silver and the gold color. And you can kind of see where I've been, where I've been using it. So I just added a touch of that above the blush. I've re I'm really enjoying this highlighter a lot. Okay, and overall my final thoughts on the blush, I think it is a great light pink. Even though there's a lot of medium pink mixed into here, I still think it turns out to be more of a soft pink um, when you apply it. So, you know, it is going to be light. It's going to be great for fair and light skin tones. And depending on what look you're going for with a darker skin tone, um, you know, it may or may not work. It might be too light for some people. So... I do think um, that for me, I like it. I plan on incorporating it into um, one of my more regularly used blush rotations. So overall, I think that's that it's very nice. And I do think texturally, um, I mean, again, this has a slightly different um, appearance in the pan because it's got that tweed look and everything. But I think if you compare... So yeah, this is just one of the regular blushes. Just if you compare this texture, um, I think that the, these are the Ju Contrast. So this one is, which one is this? Rose Initial. But I think it's a little bit of a creamier formula. And this Tweed one is a little bit more powdery. So that's just something to know. It's also a little bit, it diffuses a little bit more easily. So it's really easy to work with, but just keep a note that it is slightly more powdery than the um, normal compacts. So that is it for today. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them down below. And I hope to see you again in my next video. Thanks so much for joining me. Have a great day.